Yeah, man! Hello! My name is Miguel and today I'm gonna make for you beans, vegetables, salad. Alright, so you're gonna need a can of kidney beans, red beans. You can use broad beans instead, butter beans, any cooked bean. Any cooked beans you can use instead. But today I'm gonna to present it with kidney beans. You're gonna need half of cucumber. We're using lettuce, shredded carrot, one tomato or two, half of sweet pepper or bell pepper or paprika, half green cabbage, quarter piece red cabbage and a few broccoli florets, small broccoli florets. We use in spinach, a few leaves of spinach, one small between a medium sized onion, three between four garlic cloves, one stock scallion, you can use shive instead between 450 to 450 grams of kidney beans, a large can. You need a tablespoon of dried parsley, a tablespoon of dried basil, a teaspoon of marjoram, and a teaspoon of oregano. You can use any of these herbs fresh. Chop it fine though. We're using one teaspoon of grinded fine rosemary, several berries of old clove and several berries of dried pimento berries four between four tablespoons of coconut oil one tablespoon of wine vinegar one between two tablespoons of cooking wine it's optional a piece of scotch bonnet pepper or you can use quarter teaspoon of shredded red pepper instead visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe grind rosemary fine or buy grinded fine rosemary in the market or grocery. Measure and add one tablespoon of parsley. I'm gathering all the herbs on this plate. Measure and put aside one tablespoon of dried sweet basil. Oregano, one teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon marjoram. I didn't say salt earlier, but we're using one teaspoon of salt. I use sea salt. Put your herbs aside for later. Today I'm going to show you how to maximize flavors using the spices without having the berries in the meal. So put to heat a big enough saucepan. This is a medium sized pot. This is a medium sized saucepan. Put the soaps gauge on low, almost off low. Be sure the saucepan is dried out. After that, add four tablespoons of cooking oil. I use coconut oil. You can use olive oil instead. I really apologize if there's too much background noise. I live on a main road. Occasionally trucks fly by and bikes. Once you add the oil into the saucepan, measure and add a quarter teaspoon of dried fermented berries and a quarter teaspoon of dried old clove. Put it in the oil and allow the oil to flavor. By keeping the stove's gauge on low, it reduces the risk of the berries bursting and hurting you allow while the oil is flavoring peel garlic cloves cut off ends trim spoilage this recipe will be in vegan dinners cookbook next remove dying leaves from the scallion cut off ends cut the root end off and the tip of the leaf that's dying 
What I like to do with the onion is cut it in half. It's easier to handle. Peel onion. Remove just the brown leaf. Only remove the first layer of the onion if it's spoiled. Like this onion now. The tip of it is, is spoiled. It's kind of yellow. So I just cut off. Cut it off. You should smell the vegetable. Smell the onion. Because if it's, if it's spoiling, it, it will have this kind of rotten smell. Carrot. Lightly scrape the surface of the carrot. Slightly scrape the surface of the carrot. Cut sweet pepper or paprika, some people call it bell pepper, in half. Cut off the stem, remove the seeds. Look at this. This looks like a little baby bell pepper inside the bell pepper. I've never seen this before. You witness it with me today. I'm going to wash next. Now put enough water in a bowl, drizzle several drops of distilled white vinegar in it. You can use salt instead. Add your prepped vegetables, the onion need not wash. Wash off the garlic. So wash the skin of the bell pepper properly. Use your fingers and rub the skin of the tomato, the carrot, the scallion's leaf clean and give your vegetables a final rinse with fresh water. And it's best if you do this part under fresh running water. That's the idea. Put this aside, we're going to slice it and dice it at some point. Without delay, Dice scallion. Because remember now, in the background, the cooking oil is being flavored by the spices. The longer you let it stay, the more flavor the oil will be. Keep ingredients separate. Next, slice or dice onion. After that, grind garlic to puree. This is a very special meal, you know. Alright, so once you do it, you put the second set of seasonings aside for later. Vegetables time. With this recipe, if you don't see a vegetable, you can use vegetables available in your region. This is our kidney beans, kidney beans, red peas. Two names. All right, open the can of kidney beans, red kidney beans. If you're doing it my way, cut away from you. Remove this syrup or water. Drizzle several drops of distilled white vinegar in the can of beans. Add some water in it and rinse the beans out. Just rinse it out. Do what I'm doing. Do this part two or three times. When you place this can somewhere, put the cut part of the can against the wall so that you don't have any accident. That way it won't cut you. Now, Add enough water in a bowl, use several drops of distilled white vinegar in the water. You can use salt instead, about two tablespoons of salt instead. Now, cabbage, I'm using half of the cabbage. Cut the cabbage in half, add it to the water. Kind of rip off the stem part. The art of the cabbage, not the cabbage, the lettuce. The lettuce. And remove the rotten leaf and put it in the, in the vinegar water too as well. 
By doing this, it washes the cabbage and the lettuce clean, remove dirt, and it removes worms. Once you do that, give your vegetables, lettuce, and the cabbage a final rinse with fresh water. It's best if you do this part under fresh running water. This is my spinach. Take a couple leaves, say about four or five leaves, six the most. Just a leaf, you know, you don't want too much, you don't really want the stem in it. Wash the spinach's leaf clean, give it a final rinse, and then put all your vegetables in a colander and allow it to drain excess water. This is a red cabbage. Wash the red cabbage as well. This is our broccoli florets. Big florets right now, but we're going to break it apart to smaller florets. This is a cucumber. I'm using half of the cucumber. Wash the skin of the cucumber clean. Cut off the end, the stem part of the cucumber. When you peel the cucumber, peel it as me. Do what I'm doing and peel the cucumber every other side. So you peel it, skip apart and then peel. Skip apart and then peel. You, at, the, at the end of the day, you want some cucumber skin on it as well. So that's the idea. You washed and rinse all the vegetables clean. This is beans vegetable salad. Now we're going to shred. Take the spinach's leaf, place them on top of each other, then cut strips, very fine flakes, as long as your finger. But at the end of the day, you want it to be shredded fine. Not like coleslaw, you know. You want it to have a little length. Do what I'm doing. Shred spinach. Next, cut bell pepper flakes or bell pepper strips. At the end of the day, you just want to cut some small pieces as tall as your finger. Tomato. Cut off the tomato stem. Cut tomato cubes. So what I like to do is cut the tomato in half. Cut the half piece in three or four lengths. And then cut all the lengths together. And then cut cubes. The bowl that you see on the right side, the big white bowl, I'm placing all of my shredded vegetables in that bowl. Broccoli now. Cut off or pop off or rip off smaller broccoli florets. Usually on the broccoli, you have florets into florets. We want small, fine florets for this recipe. So cut or break off florets and place it in the bowl of shredded vegetables. Next, slice cucumber. Do what I'm doing. You can cut sliced cucumber in half or you can cut it in quarters. Like this one, I cut this in half. I'm gonna cut these three in quarters. And note, if you don't have any one of these vegetables, it's okay. All right, the, the shredder now. You, everybody should have access to this, these four or five sided shredder. The first side that I just showed you is fine. The second one is medium. And this one is a large shredded part. The others are just patterned. 
So you want this large shredded part on this shredder. So take the card and shred it. That's the idea, that's the size you want. You don't want it to be puree, you want it to be shredded. But on the can you have three sizes, you have puree and a smaller size and then this size that I'm using right now. So use the third largest shredding part. You don't want it to be shred to puree, you want it to be shredded in very fine pieces. This is a red cabbage now, so you use the same side and shred the red cabbage. The big pieces that's left behind, you can use a knife and just chop it fine. And if you don't have a shredder like this, it's going to give you more work, but you can use a knife and shred any one of these vegetables fine. If you don't have one of these shredder. Alright, on the same side, shred cabbage. This is the green cabbage. So shred it. I didn't cut off the art. So shred around the art. You see the art part? Shred the cabbage, the green cabbage, around the art. You don't want to shred the art in it. You do what I'm doing. Shred cabbage fine. I hope you guys following me now. I don't want you to shred it too fine like puree. Shred it the third largest shredder. The other two are just patterns. Lettuce now. The same thing. Do the same thing with lettuce. Hold it. Try and hold it firm you can always pop or you know lettuce is soft already so you can just break it break it up with your fingers but to present your salad meat shred it as well shred lettuce as well they have different types of lettuce too you can use different type of lettuce or you can mix it Although we're going to be cooking, this is a cold salad. A cold, cold or cool vegetable salad. And once you do that, you place all your shredded vegetables in a bowl. So this is it. This is a lot of different vegetables shredded up and add it in one bowl. So do what I'm doing now. Um, stir it in, stir it in. Some people would have just add the beans to this and you can eat it just the same. My style is different. Put your shredded vegetables aside for later. So this is our berries, the spices, been flavoring the oil for a good while now. Probably about 15 between 20 minutes. That's what you want. Turn the stove off. Now would be a good time to remove the berries from the flavored oil. Use our oil filter. Remove berries from the flavored oil. So right now the cooking oil is flavored with old clove, dried pimento berries. You can use peppercorn instead or any other spices that I don't know about. Turn the stove back on. Put the stove's gauge on four medium low. The oil should be hot enough. Add your diced or sliced onions in the heating oil. Stir it in a few times. Allow it to saute light golden brown around the edges. Get the saucepan's lid ready. After 40 seconds between a minute, add your diced scallion. And remember now, you can use chives instead. And you can use any onion. Stir it in, allow it to saute. Oh, I forget to say, but we're going to use about four tablespoons ketchup. 
add the mashed garlic stir it in allow it to saute oh yes just this bean stew can eat with rice or pasta after two between three minutes since we start added the seasonings and allow it to saute add your washed cooked beans today we're using kidney beans you can use broad beans butter beans any beans measure and add tablespoon of wine vinegar you can use distilled white vinegar you can use apple cider instead measure and add a tablespoon between two cooking wine it's optional and once you do that stir it in stir it in add herbal a bunch of herbs together is called herbal so add the herbs and the salt stir it in stir it in the stove gauge is still on four medium low measure and add quarter cup or a little bit less water add the pepper keep the pepper on top use the saucepan's lid cover the pan properly the stove gauge is on four medium low allow after two minutes this is what it looks like remove the pepper Stir your pot in, flip the bottom to the top. Now measure and add two tablespoons of ketchup. Stir it in, stir it in. Oh yes, and before I forget, that's it, we're finished. Turn the stove off. You can leave the lid off if you're in hurry but the objective is to allow this bean to cool if you use the pan's lid and cover it and allow it to cool for the next step before I forget you can use any salad dressing for this recipe as well but you can eat it just by itself because with all this mixture it's as if we made our own dressing into the salad alright so once it's cooled has to be cool combine your vegetable salad with the beans stew you can either put the salad into the beans or the beans into the salad whatever way is easier for you but at the end of the day you want to combine the cooked beans or the sauteed beans with your shredded vegetables do what I'm doing and combine all ingredients the aroma in the kitchen is awesome even outside in fact when I went outside just now the aroma is stronger this saucepan is a bit small so I'm just gonna pour everything back in this container so I can combine it properly and before I forget you can put the salad all of this bean vegetable salad in the refrigerator and allow it to cool and serve it cool or you can keep it at room temperature and serve it now so do what I'm doing and combine ingredients thoroughly all right so that's it finish put your salad aside until serving take a scoop of this lovely unique bean vegetable salad and lay it on a plate my method is probably new but I'm sure bean vegetable salad is not new this is beans vegetable salad visit jamaicardinners.com for the recipe subscribe like share you should try making this salad yourself give us feedback when you do beans vegetable salad I was gonna use the broad bean but I said just to be different I'll show you that it's possible to use kidney beans and truly you can use any bean any kind of bean for this recipe they have many 
a lot. They have lots of beans out there. So you can use any cooked beans for this recipe. The salad looks interesting. It tastes just like a salad with beans. But this salad has very small amount of homemade salad dressing. Just to say, you could have add a teaspoon of sugar in the salad and mix it up just to kind of give it a little sweetness just a teaspoon now and now but I didn't add any sugar into this because I didn't want to but I'm just saying it so if you want to you can but you don't have to the fiber from the beans mixed with the vegetable kind of give this salad a very interesting flavor and texture the flavor of all the different vegetables crunching in my mouth make this meal very tasty. Get my book, Vegan Dinners Cookbook. This recipe is in it. And for each chapter in the cookbook, I recommend at least five different ways that you can cook the same recipe. So you'll be getting a lot more recipes for your money. This is a very lovely salad. I enjoyed it. Until next time. Bye. Yeah, man! You must make this bean vegetable salad with the broad beans. It's different and delicious. After finish eating this salad, I notice the flavors of the vegetables lingers in my mouth. It lingers for hours. I notice that I digest this bean vegetable salad easy.